Welcome to our YouTube channel where we focus on the mind, body, heart and spirit. We meditate every single day here, so if you are new, my name is Raphael, I'll be your guide and you might consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell for notifications as I will post more and more meditations every day and multiple times a day. I will also post the whole meditation transcript in the description to this video so if you want to read it or have a look at the contemplation prompt for today, then you're welcome to do so. You might also want to subscribe to my free weekly letter for tips and essays on meditation, spirituality, philosophy, self-transcendence and more. I will link everything you need, including ways to get in contact with me, in the description below the video. And now, let's begin. Make sure you won't be disturbed during the entirety of this meditation. If you need to put your phone on flight mode, then please do so now. If you need to tell your housemates, your spouse, your friends not to disturb you. Maybe you can hear behind me there is a huge, huge, huge uh, windstorm. Don't be distracted by the sounds. When I say don't be disturbed, it means make sure that you have that time for yourself where nobody is going to ask you to fulfill any other tasks or require your attention or require your shifting of the focus. Sit nice and comfortably. It can be either directly on the floor or on a chair on the edge of your bed. As long as you're able to meditate, to experience this meditation, getting rid of all expectations so that we're not stuck in the past or yearning for an experience in the future. We don't aim to be here and now, in the present moment. We don't aim at all. We are here. We are right now. And so as we meditate with this meditation for transcendence, we transcend, we go beyond these concepts of time and space and we go beyond the ideas and the thoughts of who we are in order to experience who we really are. At the end of this meditation, I will share a little quote or an idea with you that we will contemplate on. But for now, ah, relax, sitting with no intention, finding your center of gravity so that you're able to sit in balance without requiring any kind of muscular tension or muscular action. Your head is simply balanced on your neck. If you would like, you can lean forward and back, left and right, so that re you really feel that place on your sit bones where you can sit effortlessly. We'll dedicate this meditation to someone or a group of people. It can be anybody that you choose. Closing our eyes if we've not done so already. Hands to the heart in whatever position feels natural. Deep breath in. And on the exhalation, we project our love, our gratitude and appreciation towards that person. And now I will introduce you to a sound, a vibration. It will start very gently, very soft. You might not hear it yet. Maybe what you hear is the wind in the background or there was a tram passing by. That's okay. Don't let all of these sounds and noises be a distraction. Let them be part of your meditation. Let them be part of your experience because you are not on a desert island and you are not isolated from the world, not from nature not from society. And so you don't need to, you know, go in a cave somewhere in the middle of the mountains in complete and utter silence to experience yourself. No, we want to go beyond that, where you realize that there is no separation, 
where you realize that the skin is not a wall but indeed it is a bridge between you and other people, you and other beings, you and the whole ecosystem of nature, of life that is within you and around you, making it one whole. And so, when you start listening to the sound, when you start hearing the vibration, you'll put your attention as gently and effortlessly on that vibration, putting it on the foreground of your mind. This will help anchor your mind so that it doesn't drift away in different arrays of thoughts of, I could have done this, I could have done that, I should do this, oh, after the meditation, I... No, just let it all go. Do not resist. Do not do anything. When thoughts come, it's okay. You are a thinking being. Don't resist the thoughts. Don't try to eliminate the thoughts. Don't try to anything. Simply, effortlessly, the mind will be brought back to the anchor, to the sound, putting it back on the center stage of your inner personal space. When the vibration fades out, reproduce it. Let it resonate in your own mind for approximately 60 seconds.
You may now let go of the vibration. The meditation is over. Take your time, get reacquainted to the sensations in your body. If you need to stretch, stretch. If you need to wiggle, wiggle. If you want to take a nice deep breath, and by all means do it. Listen to your body. Let it do what it is capable of doing. Go back, regress to your most natural state. Before I leave you, I would like to give you a quote to contemplate on. Today it's going to be by Lao Tzu from the Tao Te Ching. It's a very, very important lesson. Please listen to it more than once. I've written it on Instagram if you want to save it, put it on your phone somewhere and be reminded of this all day. Journal about it, share your thoughts about it in the comments. He says, I quote, I have just three things to teach. Simplicity, patience, compassion. These three are your greatest treasures. End of quote. So, simplicity, patience, compassion. In the last few meditations, I've repeated many times, simplify, simplify, simplify. This can be a mantra, simplify, simplify. Where in your life can you simplify? Don't resist. Practice this mind or soul judo that we talked about in the last letter that I sent you, right? Of using the momentum with no resistance, accompanying a thought or a difficult moment or a punch and just letting it go, letting it pass through you. Simplify, be patient. If you yearn for something, especially spiritual, a spiritual something, spiritually, you will go against where you're supposed to go. And compassion, come passion, to suffer with. This is the exact meaning of compassion. I often like to tell my students to replace the word compassion with encouragement. Encouragement means to give courage. Courage comes from the word heart, cœur in French, right? So to encourage is to give heart. Sometimes you should be compassionate, so to be empathetic and to realize what other people might be going through. But to encourage someone, to give someone heart. And so I repeat, simplicity, patience and compassion. Contemplate on that today, please. so much for being here today for taking the time and giving yourself the opportunity the gift of being present in the moment of being calm of stillness and experiencing the core of who you really are remember that it doesn't matter if today was deep or not so deep it is all part of a process the important thing is to keep practicing and to make your mindfulness and meditative practices as consistent as you can. If you're interested, remember that you can have access to daily meditations with me, as well as other cool perks by becoming a supporter of Meditation with Raphael on Patreon. I highly recommend that you subscribe to my weekly letter that I send out once a week, where I share thoughts on meditation, mindfulness, self-transcendence, and living a great life, as well as news on the content I post on the podcast, on YouTube, and on the blog. You can sign up there for free directly on my website, www.raphaelwriter.com. Have a look at the links in the show notes for the Patreon page, the podcast, the links to the blog, the free weekly letter, and ways to get in touch with me. 
I always love hearing from you, so do not hesitate to send me a message on Twitter or Instagram or directly on my email. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to share these meditations with anybody that might benefit from them, and until next time, remember that I see you, I feel you, and I appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye.